Hey, what's going out there, fellow tech fans? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, getting ready for the Ivory Bridge launch, which is slowly starting to creep upon us. Just to let you guys know, very soon here, we'll be able to show scores with first the Sandy Bridge, and then eventually we'll move on to Ivory Bridge. Back here behind me, I've got a major stack of boards. This is pre-launch, including the one I'm unboxing today, and I think I'm getting like about actually 10 more. So I'm gonna be like swamped in work for this launch. It's one of the biggest launches of all time. That said, we're gonna bring you one of our first series of unboxings here on Tech of Tomorrow. Today, we're gonna to look at the TZ77XE4. Now, this is Biostar's version of the board. You guys know Biostar and their T-Power series. T-Power series boards are geared for the overclocker. There have been some preliminary tests already leaked which showed this board to actually be right in the middle of all the boards that are being released. So that's pretty good stuff because their guys' prices are entry level and it's competing mid-level. Not bad. So let's see what comes in this little box right here. So here we go, we got the front of the box. Get the camera to zoom in there, get that nice and close up. See some more smart overclocking, smart over voltage, smart power savings. Got the big T overclocker series on here. THX audio. This thing also, has really cool graphics features on it too, which a lot of people may like, maybe they won't. I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it around, show you guys the back of the box. If you're gonna be looking to buy this online or whatever, you can see right here, here's all the nomenclature code. I'll actually hold that to the camera so we can zoom in then get that real close up. So like all unboxing, we'll go ahead and pop the cap and begin the unboxing. Right off the bat, we've got the Biostar installation guide their driver CD and manual. It's also on here. Toss it off to the side. We've got one, two, three, four sets of SATA cables right here. All these are the new SATA 3. We have a crossfire connector right here. We have the rear I.O. And these guys are learning. It's kind of hard to see. I'll kind of get this up here, but they're actually putting everything on the rear I.O. So you can see display port, HDMI, Great graphics features. Go ahead and set that off to the side. And we get a crossfire bridge, SLI bridge, all that good stuff. So move on to the heart of the matter. Let's dig in and take a look at the motherboard. Nice anti-static plastic wrapper there. Go ahead and remove the motherboard out. Now, start off, take a look at the board. Nice color features. A little bit kind of Halloween-y, but then not. It's kind of weird to tell if it's orange or not. I think it's more like a burnt orange color. This right here, you guys can see, very similar to the Sniper Motherboard series that's used by Gigabyte. I believe they're actually doing some redesigning on other models that are coming out. You can see there's plenty of room though around the ZIF socket right here for your CPU and use all those aftermarket coolers. Got your memory all right here. And I'm sorry, folks, I know a lot of you are going to bitch that I'm not talking about features. I cannot talk about features. I can only do the unboxing and show you guys basic stuff. I apologize for that. I can't even tell you how much memory goes in it. Here is the 24-pin power, the additional 8-pin power, CPU fan right here on top, right above the CPU. Good placement for that. Not too crowded at all. We have one, two three PCIe lanes, two standard PCI lanes, and a single 1X PCIe lane. So you got a little mixture of, you know, old and new. Got your old school PCI and your PCIe all mixed in on one board. You can see it's cooled over here. This is a passive. There's no active cooling on this whatsoever. Right here's their new sound solution. This is called Puritone, 110 dB, 7.1 HD audio. I can talk about that at least because that's just standard stuff. Here right here are all your reset buttons. On, reset, clear CMOS, where you connect all the stuff from your case to your motherboard. Flip it around the side. One, two, three, four SATA connectors. So there's eight all together. Flip it around, show you guys the rear I.O. Very interesting rear I.O. Some legacy stuff. USB 2.0, HDMI, DisplayPort, DVI, standard old VGA, 
Powered eSATA, USB 3, more USB, the LAN, the 7.1. Now, one thing that kind of tripped me out about the audio on here is that I know that when you're using the HDMI or you're using DisplayPort, you can get the sound coming through it, but you would have thought for people who aren't using that, they would have had the option for digital audio as well. That was kind of left off the board. Not the end of the world, but oh well. So that's about it, folks. Lots of stuff's coming up. The new Intel releases. This is the TZ77XE4 Power Board. See you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.